Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Daredevil season number two, episode number three, 2.3. That's the title. It's just a number. In this episode here, we have Frank and Matt at each other again. But this time, they're not fighting. They're just talking to one another. And it is the most intense conversation you will ever see. Because see, both of these people are both fighting crime. Both of them have different missions, but they have different ways of fighting crime. Matt, he tries, he beats, he beats up criminals, he breaks some bones, he'll, he'll do some damage. But he wants to save the criminal. Hopefully, that he, he's hoping that they will turn themselves around be, and become good people. He, cause he thinks there, there is good in everybody. And if they're still alive, there is a chance they can turn their life around. So that's what he's hoping. And that's what he's, and so when he goes in there and start fighting crime, that's what he wants the results to be. And then you have Frank. He just kills the bad guy because he thinks, he believes that they're not going to turn around, buddy. I don't care how many times you punch them, how many times they go to jail, they're going to get back out again and do the same crap that they did before. They're not going to change. You see, you think you're helping them. You think you're saving the city. You ain't doing crap. All you're doing is making it worse because when they come out, they come out worse than they were before. My way they're dead. You don't come back from dead. There, there's, there's no more rapes when you're dead. There's no more murders when you're dead. There's no more crime when they're dead. You see, you think you're the cure. You're not. You're just a band-aid on a bullet wound. And you're not stopping anything. I am the cure. I'm trying to save this city. And you ain't doing crap. And so they're going back and forth with... with well, how they believe, and then, um, and then Frank tries to put Daredevil in a compromised position, so he has to turn on, come on his side, and it's uh, oh my god, it's a whole lot of back and forth, and and it is beautiful. And also on this show, you have Rosario Dawson; she's back again as Claire Temple. I wish she gets more parts because every time she's on there, I, I, I enjoy watching her. I really do. Every time she's on screen, I'm happy. She 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 never gets a whole lot of screen time, but when she's there, it's worth watching. But this time, she's not interacting with Matt because Matt's busy with, with Frank. She and she, She's talking to Foggy this time, which was very interesting and fun to see because Foggy out there looking for his friend because he's scared that his friend's dead. He doesn't know what happened. All he knows is there was a big fight, a lot of shooting, and next thing you know, Matt and Frank are gone. <laughs> he says, oh, oh, crap, is my friend dead? Is my friend dead? So he's freaking out. He's going to a different hospital trying to find out what's going on, and that's when he went to declare. Now, I understand where Froggy's coming from. I totally get it because Matt's his best friend, pretty much his only friend, really. So if Matt's dead, it not only would it hurt him, hurt him on an emotional level, but also hurt him even financially, too, because that, that's, that's, he's his partner in business. So if he's dead, everything's done. His life pretty much over. Yeah. And he's going to miss his friend terribly. But even though... He disagrees with what Matt does. I think he should, I hope he hopefully he'll turn around and he'll start to support his friend. I want Foggy to be Matt's Alfred. Yes, Alfred doesn't like when Bruce goes out there and fight crime and see, see his, um, his, pretty much his son risk his life to save the city. He doesn't like that. But he supports him. He's there for him. He patches up his wounds. He helps fix his car. He, 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 he t takes care of the house. He's there for him when he needs him. I'm hoping that, that, I'm hoping that Foggy does, this, does the same thing to Matt. Like, just be, no, yes, you don't agree with what he's doing. Yes, you don't like what he's doing. I totally understand that. But he's going to keep doing it anyway. So either you just get on board or you just have to walk away. So just support your friend. That's all I'm asking. This was a great episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. And if you like last season's fight scene in the hallway, well, there's another fight scene in this one, too. It's against Matt and a whole backer gang. And it starts off in the hallway. Then it goes down a staircase. And it is beautiful. Oh, my God. I enjoyed it a whole lot. Woo! This show is just so good. I am enjoying this season. This is just three episodes. And Electric hasn't showed up yet. No sign of Electric yet or the hand. This is just Frank and Matt, the Punisher and Daredevil. And I am enjoying every minute of it. Oh my gosh, this season is going to be crazy. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought about this episode of Daredevil. 
Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of Naples.